Hey everybody, this is RJ with SingleDad.com and my single parent cooking tip today is the French onion soup. I know, so that's probably the best French accent I can probably give you and it's not even close. But anyways, I'm here to give you a crock pot recipe. Fast, easy, healthy, you make it, put it in a crock pot, get out the door, head to your busy day, come back, you got a great soup. So stay tuned and check out some of this recipe and learn from how easy it is to make the single parent crock pot French onion soup. Okay, what's in a French onion soup? Well, onions. I like to use the Texas sweet onion, big ol' onion, and I like to use a red onion. Now, my recipe is going to cook for my family, which is a family of four, so I only need about three large onions. So for those of you cooking for larger groups, I'm basically just going to fill a simple crock pot. This is a four-quart, I believe, a four-quart simple size crock pot to feed a family of four of my French onion soup. So this serves a family of four. If you need more, get a bigger crock pot. So I'm going to use three large onions. I'm going to grab some minced garlic. I'm going to use, that's right, beef broth in a French onion soup. I grabbed six cans. And speaking of French onion soup and beef broth, right now we're in the time frame of Thanksgiving and the holidays. So beef broth it is at an all-time demand, which also means beef broth is on sale. So just get your standard beef broth, bouillon soup, beef broth. Just get the can that says beef broth on it, okay? So I'm also going to use mushrooms in my French onion soup. Why? Just because it's a texture thing. I like the flavor of a little onion and mushroom medley in my French onion soup. So grab a package. It can be sliced or unsliced. I have a little bit of both here, and that's what I'm going to use in my recipe. As far as other ingredients for seasoning, I'm going to use an Italian seasoning blend. I'm also going to use my secret Montreal steak seasoning. That's right. I don't even know why they call it Montreal steak seasoning. I don't even know if it's from Montreal. I've never been to Montreal. I don't even know what that tastes like. But anyways, in my French onion soup, I grab about two tablespoons of Montreal steak seasoning. Finally, I'm going to dish um, a couple Worcestershire sauce and white wine. That is going to be the bulk of all my ingredients. Of course, salt and pepper. You want to salt things to your flavor. I think there's enough salt in between what I'm about to do in terms of getting the onions ready. But you can always season to your taste. So come on and take a look at what I'm going to do next. Okay, so I've prepped the onions. And wait a minute. I'm not crying. No. There's no crying in baseball. And there's no crying in French onion soup. That's right. The key to onions is to keep the onion wet when you're cutting. Make sure you have a nice sharp knife. Keep the knife and the onion wet. As you noticed, this single dad is not crying. Crying is for baseball. Actually, crying is not for baseball. There's no crying in baseball. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one or two slices and do a coarse chop. The rest of them, I'm going to be cutting them in slices. Thin, stringy slices. I'm going to use all three of my onions. I took about two slices of coarse chop, and I'm blending it in with my remaining two and a half onions of a finely, so let me just show you instead of telling you. This is what you want to do. You want a lot of rings. Not onion rings, just thin slices of onions. Put them all in the bowl. I'm going to use a full, this is a half a cup of minced garlic. I'm going to take olive oil, and I'm going to make my concoction here, and I'm going to spice up. I used about, I'm going to say that was about, that was about three tablespoons of olive oil. I used a half a cup of minced garlic, and now I'm going to slice up the rest of my onions without any tears. Okay, so right now what I have is I've got the onions grilling, and I've got the garlic, onions, I did a little white wine, I did a little Montreal seasoning, I did a little bit of the French, I'm sorry, the sliced onion, the dried onion, and I'm going to throw a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, and we will start 
moving everything into the crock pot shortly. So now I have a nice little basket of clean mushrooms. I'm going to drop them into my crock pot. And in my crock pot, of course, I've got a little bit of olive oil basically laced around the bottom of my uh, crock pot. My onions are grilling nice and they're browning. I've got all the seasoning on top of that, so we should have the concoction all go into the crock pot for the next three to four hours on a medium setting in the crock pot. So here's what the finished product looks like. It's ready to sit in the uh, crock pot for maybe two, three, five hours. It doesn't matter because since it's sitting in a medium to low temperature setting in my crock pot, I can go to work and I can come back to a nice bowl of French onion soup. Uh, when I get back home, uh, the nice thing about serving it is that everyone likes to do it differently. And my quick and simple single dab recipe way is I get small bowls, I'll put some uh, salad croutons or buy some French bread, decorate it on top of the bowl and melt some cheese on top of it. Now, most recipes call for different types of cheeses. I use the simple stuff. Mozzarella, Parmesan are great for the toppings on it. And anyone can choose whatever cheese they want. Again, I hope you enjoyed this dish. I will show pictures of the finished product. And for more information, please go to singledad.com. If you have any questions or want to send me a comment, send it to my email, which is rj at singledad.com. And this is your single dad, single parent cooking tip of the day.